<clears throat> what is good everybody today we're going to be going over the top 10 pants you need in your collection but first of all i just want to say i'm going to have like a, a fresh start on this channel i'm just going to post different kinds of videos to see where my interests go i'm still going to leave all the old videos that i had like a year ago like the songs and stuff posted because people seem to enjoy that so why ruin the mood and delete all of them i hate long intros so let's hop straight into this first let's get started with something we all need basics here we have the Levi's 501. For reference, I'm about 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 and I wear a 32 in the waist and a 30 in length. These are Levi's from the 80s that I picked her up around for about 40 bucks from uh, the, flea ma the flea market on Fairfax. You must be thinking 40 bucks is a lot for an old pair of jeans, but to me it's worth it because I wear them all the time. You can find these jeans almost anywhere except newer department stores. I recommend getting an older pair because the quality is better and the look is just so much better. Probably the fit will be too. You can find these for free in a dumpster, from the thrift store, from flea markets, from boutiques, from yard sales, your parents. And it's a look that cannot be replicated and each pair of denim has a story. This pair is a 3230, which is my true size. Fits a little bit slim, um, it looks good with shoes such as the Jordan 1, Vans, Converse, your, your bulky slim shoes, I'd say. No Air Forces for these, or no Jordan 4s, no heavy no heavy set boots yet. But um, these are definitely an essential pant. I'd say it's easier to find a pair like these at your thrift store or from a relative's, considering they are such a big waist and how common that is amongst adults. <laughs> but if you're definitely going for a grunge look or a skate look these are definitely the pair next up are carpenter pants or painter pants these are a size 33 31 these are dickies carpenter pants um, you can find these for around 25 to 30 dollars and if you want to go for a higher quality pair then go for carhartts which are around 50 dollars and in the vintage market they've just been shooting up they have a more baggy look and they have pockets all over with a tool like hammer such pocket on the side. Personally, I love wearing these. They're so comfortable and they're such an easy piece to pull off. They look great with simple shoes and bulky shoes. They're a very versatile pant and that's why I love them so much. They're a super versatile top. Anything from a letterman jacket to just a plain white t-shirt will do you just great. Next up is another basic that everybody needs and is super affordable, less than 25 bucks anywhere. Please excuse the color because I have a black pair coming in on Monday, but I just wanted to get this video out. But the Dickies 874 is definitely a must have for any pant collection. They look great cuffed, uncuffed, fresh, beat. They look great with any shoe, almost any top, any shirt. They look great with any aesthetic and are super versatile casual business streetwear high-end you could even take someone on a date in these this next pair up are contrast stitch pants pants that are primarily black with white contrast stitching or red pants with white contrast stitching they have a little bit more of a baggier fit and i got these off of depop for about 30 bucks um you can even make them yourself you can get a black pair of pants and put white stitching and it'll cost you next to nothing Next pair up is a super trendy one, flared pants. I personally love this trend because it just gives such a, an attitude to your pants. And as you can see, I have two types of camo on my pants, real tree and normal camo for the flare. Flared pants can range from $1,000 from gallery debt to 50 bucks made by yourself by getting two pairs of pants. All you need to do is cut the inseam and put a flare and there you go, boom. These look great with Jordan 1s, Jordan 4s, Bapestas, Air Forces. I wouldn't say boots or vans because they'd cover the shoe too much, but I, I love these pants. Next up are custom denim, patchwork denim, reconstructed denim. And I love these because if you make them yourself, they're completely creative to you and no one else has them. This first pair, as you can see, has a flare. The second pair I'll show you has multiple pockets. And the third pair I'll show you has a Dior print all over it. They were all made by me based on vintage Levi's. These can look great with anything. They're your pant. You can do whatever you want with them. You can style them however you want. You can style them wherever you want. And you can style them with whatever you want. We're getting close to the ending. This next pair are leather pants. Now, I know leather is not for everybody, 
but if you are willing to wear them, I definitely say go for a wider pair of leather pants or a bootcut pair. The skinny pairs are just not my taste. The, you know, Playboy Cardi look, that's just not for me. It doesn't look proportionate to your body and you'll probably get really hot in it too. You won't see most people in leather pants, but if you're gonna take the risk and wear it, go for it. They look great with Jordans, Yeezys, and probably boots. The last pair, crotch print pants. I love these pants because they just add personality to your pants in such an interesting area. And they look great with simple shoes like Golf of Fleurs, Golf Giannos, Vans, Converse, and are affordable. These are from Heron Preston and I paid about 15 bucks. Bait makes a great pair and you can always just make your own pair with paint. If you stuck to the end, thank you so much. And I'm planning on developing an upload schedule. But until then, I'll see you guys later. Keep the outro.